today the Lord have answered your prayer. I want to also encourage you, in the time of tribulation, Jesus is the anchor. The Lord has a way of directing your path, but you need to hear him speak. When you pray, when you fast, you hear him clearly. Don't give up hope. Especially if you are in faith, if you are a Christian, you love God with all your heart. He will never disappoint you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, honor, adoration to our God with whom all things are possible. Amen. Father, we thank you. We bless you for the gift of life. Thank we you, want Father. to welcome you viewers to the hour of hope. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And today we are going to go into the part two of last edition. But before then, I want to start with Psalm 130, verse 1 to 2, a song of assets. Let's read it together. Out of the depths, I cry to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. The Lord will have mercy upon us. His mercy will override judgments. What do we mean by this? When we say, Lord, hear my voice. Hear my voice. The Lord hearing our voices gives us a lot of hope. We know in Christ, God has paved ways for us. When we were lost in sin, when we were in darkness, He paved the way through our Lord Jesus Christ. He gave us the access once again to come to Him just as we are. That gives us a lot of hope. And in this hour of hope, we want to encourage you to be very attentive because God has had mercy on you and I. In Jesus' name. Amen. And Amen. hope. Why do we have to have hope? We have hope because God hears you. He said, the Lord hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive. As you have spoken this morning, so the Lord have heard your voice. He hear your voice because you are his children. He hear your voice because he is able to do all things. He hears your voice because from the depth of his heart, he loves you no matter the situation that you are going through or that you have been. This gives us hope because we are never alone. You are never alone. You are never forsaken. This is our hope. Especially as Christians whose heart has been made new. Since is our need for salvation. Salvation is good. You, is, you know, your salvation brings you closer to God. Your salvation gives you hope in the Lord. In Jesus' name. That is why the Lord sees the death of your heart. He sees the death of your heart. He hears you. You are not alone. Sometimes somebody sitting down there said, Oh, all hope is gone. I'm alone. You are not alone. The songwriter says, You are not alone. In all your journey, He will see you through. So the Christian hopes in the assurance of this presence of God. I pray every day and I pray for you right now that you will not depart from his presence. Amen. Because in the presence of God, there is liberty. In his presence of God, there is joy. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, we want to go into the second edition of the Seasons of Life. Once again, it's a privilege and honor to welcome our guest, you know, very known guest. We have known for many, many months and years and her name is evangelist mary obayemi i will introduce her again properly you know she's an author she's a teacher of the world she's a writer she's a counselor and anointed conference speaker amen. amen she had encountered the saving power of god in many areas of life which builds her unshakable faith in god through Jesus Christ. She is a chosen vessel of honor that is anointed to convey the mind of God to the people 
on daily basis. Amen. Amen. Through the book, Good Morning, God Devotional Guide. Praise the Lord. Amen. Her devotional book features divine daily messages, sermons by nature, natural healing tips, evangelism, divine 911 prayer lines, gradual evening Bible studies, counseling, special Thanksgiving days, and monthly prayer cycles. She is married to Jonathan Obayemi. He is also in the Lord. He is also an evangelist. And they are blessed with children, grandchildren, and many spiritual children around the world. Mm -hmm. I pray that God will bless you for honoring this time with, to come and share the word of God with the world. Mm -hmm. And you will never lack good things in Jesus' name. Amen. So we want to continue with the seasons of life. There are many seasons of life. Last, please, I want to encourage you viewers to get the previous edition, which is um, a week ago, and uh, you, we want to continue with that. The different seasons of life, and we want to start with the scripture, Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are welcome to this platform once again, fellow mankind all over the world. As you share this moment with us, you will never regret it, and God will use it to touch your life and your situations in Jesus' name. Amen. Last week, we talked about the topic, The Seasons of Life, Part 1. And there we read from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 and 2, mm -hmm. where it says, everything has its own time. A time and a purpose. Everything has its purpose also. We want to go further on that same top, uh, 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 text in verses 3 and 4 of it. It says a time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. Hmm. A time to mourn and a time to dance. If we look at this, a time to mourn, a time to kill, that means when we come, as we look at ourselves, we said in part one that the seasons of life is majorly uh, categorized into three stages. The childhood stage, which we call the morning, early lifetime of every mankind, it starts with God. God said in Jeremiah chapter three, uh, chapter one, verse ten, that he uh, he formed Jeremiah mm -hmm. and he knew him right from his mother's womb. So when you we, you we, we, we before we come to the world, God is the master architect. And when he, he, he brings us to the world through our parents, the, our parents take over. That is the early, uh, early childhood, mm -hmm. which we call the mornings of every man's life. In the afternoon, that is at the adulthood stage, we are now responsible for ourselves. It's a season of life. It's a time in every man's life. When you are old enough, you are matured enough, to take decisions by yourself, yes. to decide what you want to do, to choose your course if you want to be educated, to choose your trade if you want to learn uh, 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 any, any craft, or to even marry somebody. It is all on your own decision. At that time, what to do at that level of life will be the one that we master or will be the outcome of what your old age will be. What you miss in the morning, you can adjust it. What your parents don't do for you in the morning, you can adjust it and make it happen in your afternoon. But if you miss that afternoon and you move to your evening time, which is your old age, Hardly can anything be corrected mm -hmm. again, except to just accept faith the way it comes to you and be preparing for eternity to meet with your God. So we also said that whatever happens within these three stages yes. of life, at every stage of it, that is what we want. I want uh, to bring down 
to this part two now. Are these three stages or categories of seasons in one's life? There are times that one will hit one trial or the other. Yes, it is a season. It's a season. In that season of morning, childhood, afternoon, adulthood, old age, evening time, one can come across any trial, any problem. And does that mean that God is no longer in existence mm -hmm. or he doesn't love us anymore? No. Everybody he created, he created for a purpose mm -hmm. and he loved us equally. That's it. Why do we have to hit some problems in any of the stages? Because when the devil was chased out of heaven, he came to the earth. Mm -hmm. And God, and being living in the jurisdiction of the devil, we are meant to be tormented. We are, most of the time, we, fa we fall victims of the devil's own trap. You know, right from that beginning, when God sent Adam and Eve out of the, Eve out of the Garden of Eden, he told them that the enemy, which is the serpent, we bite at the soul of man, a man will bruise his head. Said, so enmity has started between mankind and the devil, devil. right from the Garden of Eden. Hmm. So now living in the world, you cannot say that we will not face any trial mm -hmm. at any level of the stages of life. When you now hit that trial, I want to tell you, I call that topic today, uh, that phrase today, another season, which I call the season of trials. When you hit the rock with the devil, or you are at a crossroad with the devil, God did not forget about you. He's only looking at how you will fight the battle. He's only waiting to see whether you will still trust him and refer to him as your creator, or you will want to serve man-made God. Every other, every other uh, 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 creation like hmm. he created like you. Remember when God created man, he gave man dominion mm -hmm. over everything that he created. Right. Birds of the air, fishes of the ocean, a uh, uh, beast of the land. But if we now have problem at this stage, I want to quickly put in here that there are different kinds of trials, problems, challenges in life. Some have been waiting for fruit of the womb mm. and it's not forthcoming. Some have been, maybe uh, it's financial problem. Some is a uh, sickness. Some is one thing or the other. Whatever you can call problem, mm. anything that is not comfortable for you, mm. that is, you do not like, that is threatening your life, mm -hmm. is a problem. That's it's it. a trial. It's a challenge. Mm. And once you know that you have a father that knows you when he was creating you, the book of Psalms says that God was created when he was forming us. He knows the part that is not yet complete in us. Mm -hmm. And wonderfully and fearfully, he created yeah, us. Does. So if God will spend his time creating you, knitting you together in the, your mother's womb, brought you to life, and you have grown to this level, mm -hmm. you sh if you hit any rock, or you are at the crossroad with the devil, it is that same God we should return to. And ask him, and tell him, that is why uh, a report as if you file a case in the law court the law against court. the devil. God, look at what the devil is doing to me, mm -hmm. to my life, to my existence. Mm -hmm. How to, because he wants to hinder mm -hmm. the purpose why you have created me. God, what uh, will do something about it? And that is why it, that one brings me to that, to a verse of the Bible that says, the just shall live by faith. That's true. The just shall live by faith. Romans chapter 1, verse 17. Romans chapter 1, verse 17. The just shall, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. You see? Reveal from faith to faith. That means if you have faith, faith in faith. God, 
There is no problem that will be unsurmountable. Mm. Look at the father Abraham, 25 years, at 75, mm. he was waiting for. Waiting. A man of 75 not having children, I think in this generation, would have lost the hope of ever having any again. But God told him at 75 he will have children, but until after 25 years, before the baby came, before Isaac, the promised son, came. And if Abraham had deviated in his faith mm -hmm. and did not wait for God, that is why it says righteousness of God and revealed, revealed faith, to faith, faith to faith, from faith to faith. If your faith is this, is 10% today on that issue, mm. increase it to yes. 20. Yes, Search for a way to increase it to yes. 50, to 80, to 100. When it is perfected, God will show up. Praise the Lord. And I want you to know today that there is no problem that has a beginning that has, does oh, not have expiry date. Hallelujah. That problem that is facing you and mm. daring your God, where you are in faith and you are living righteously, Justly. at the end of it, the problem has no option other than to surrender and it will become, become a, a testimony. testimony. I move further, the judge shall live by faith. Yes. So, again, we are looking at it in the, in the, in, in, another sister said, what a question was asked uh, uh, to, uh, from an, a sister some years back, mm. who has been on a wheelchair for so many years. Mm. They asked her, but she was always bubbling, bubbling. always singing, praying and, 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 and worshiping God. And one day, somebody that cared so much asked her a question. Mm. Why are you always bubbling since you have been on the wheelchair for how many years? What has, what God, is done it, what has God done for you? <laughs> yes. And she said, and another person asked her, okay. She said because she has faith in Christ. Mm -hmm. And they asked her again, okay, if you have faith in Christ, what is your favorite verse in the Bible? And she said, the just shall live by, by faith. faith. Do you know, after some time, some years, this sister rose up. Hi. She rose up from the, 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 the wheelchair Richard. and became a normal person. Her testimony changed so many lives Praise that came to the knowledge of Jesus Praise Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Her testimony mm. changed, changed many lives. Many lives. Your testimony will change many lives. Amen. As you hold on to God, as you key in to the word of God, I heard a, spe a preacher speaking the other day. He said, your future lies in the word of God. Mm. Where you meditate on the true word of God. Because you are a witcher today or because you are blind today. I have a, a, a father in the Lord. She has, he has gone to glory. He was blind before God called him. But mm. <laughs> his, his uh, music, his gospel song, his preaching is still affecting the world to today. Hmm. So no matter the situation you are, God sees everything. Make the best use of the situation yes. and God will take his glory. Amen. That very uh, preacher, I have his book, you know, one time the Lord said, I will make you to see. Hmm. So he, he saw, he was saying, when I read his book, I was just like jumping and no, read a chapter a day, no. I was, but, the Lord now finally said, it's my will hmm. that you should remain this way. Hmm. If you look at our Lord Jesus Christ, when in the Garden of Gethsemane, he said, Lord, have you forsaken me? Mm -hmm. I want to let you know. He said, no, this is my will. The will of God will be established in your life. Amen. There is hope. In every season, God is in it. Hmm. As long as you hold on to the Almighty God. Hmm. And you, you were saying something that... That sister, even in her wheelchair, she was still praising God. Yes. Why do you think she was praising God? Because she, the, the Bible says those that know they are God, God, they shall do exploit. That yes. sister developed her faith, number one. Yes. That sister was willing to wait for God. Yes. Because we remember from our uh, main text, the book of Ecclesiastes, yes. chapter 3, verses mm -hmm. 1 and 2. He said, everything that God does is for a time, time and for a purpose. Yes. Maybe that is the way the, the, the God wanted yes. that sister to preach the gospel to yes. his household, to everybody around her, to, for the salvation of their souls. Mm -hmm. But she never disappointed God, even in her, in her situation. Mm -hmm. 
It is written in the book of Job, chapter 14, verse 7. That is what I want to say now that Job chapter 14, verse 7. That's it. Job 14, verse For there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. That is, no matter mm. what the trouble has done to you, mm. no matter what the, the, the time it has wasted in your, in your, in your, in your longevity, at the, since you are still no matter, alive. Wait, evangelist, no matter it, how people are laughing at at you. Laughing at you, so making yeah. a mockery. All these years. All these years. Going yes. to church. Yes, saying all you have been going to church, no you husband, have been praying, nothing. no husband, no, no, no child, child yes. no money, you are still a pauper, you are still begging. But hold on. Oh, just hold on. Yes. Since you are still alive, your situation can change at Amen. any moment. It happened to me. It happened to our mommy here. Yes. It happened every, all the time. Yes. It is not the time for you to abandon God. Mm -mm. God is telling you from the book of Job chapter 14 verse 7 today that since you are still alive, you can still sprout again. Yes. If the tree is being watered, mm. that how do you water your tree? By staying put with God. Oh. Don't go away. Stand with him. Wait for him. Yes. He's a God that operates with time and on purpose. You might be crying for 20 years, 10 years, 50 years, yet if God sees the level of your faith, mm -hmm. how you grow from faith to faith, faith. He will, he, that will be a challenge to him to answer your prayer and silence the mockery of all your enemies. And I end it with this morning by saying, the Lord is watching over the world. Jeremiah 16, 9. 916 yes so god is watching his eyes is running to and fro oh. if you leave god and you go to to look for uh, 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 to solve solutions to problems from fellow creatures like you mm -hmm. such pro such solutions we end up in calamity okay. again that's it and we settle back to go and begin again because you, at the end of it, you will see there are so many people in life that have tried so many other gods. Oh. And when they fail, they now know the true God and come back. That is a waste of time. Just hey. stay with God and God will stay with you. Amen. As you serve him, he will service your situation and it will turn to a testimony. Amen. I like what you said, stay with God. Stay with God. Pick up your Bible, meditate on the word of God. Look um, Hebrews 12, verse 2 says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Yes. Some version said, The author and founder of our faith. Mm. Let God be God in your life. Mm. And 2 Corinthians 5, verse 7, we say, For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes. That means your situation now do not determine you know, how you will end. You said something at the beginning, you know, I, and what I can deduct from what you said, you said God is time-based. Yes. You know, for everything there is season. He made different kinds of season, summer, winter. That's how we human beings are. Mm. And you're, de therefore, I want to say that where you grow up or or how you, where, you, you know, how you, God, the family God born you to do not determine your success in life. No. Some people say, oh, my father was so poor, so... No. You need to step up with the word of God. You need to know that. Jesus Je said, no, my name cannot be sorrow. Mm. He said, Lord, bless me indeed. And I know God will bless somebody. Amen. No matter the situation you are going through. This season you are going through, it shall come to pass that Amen. you shall celebrate and you Amen. shall rejoice in the name of Jesus. Amen. Just be positive in your confession. Hold on to God and do what you need to do and God will direct your path in Jesus name Amen. Uh, evangelist we thank you for coming and we have a few seconds I want you to pray for the seasons the different seasons seasons of trial that God in his infinite mercy we have mercy upon us and hear our cry Amen. in Jesus name Amen. just before I pray I want to chip in this God does not dwell in a joyless environment that's true. God is a God of joy. 
There are times you will be happy in life. And there are times you will not be happy mm -hmm. because of your situation. But God is still present in all. Try to rejoice. be joyful. Rejoice always. And you will see God attending to your situation. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for a time like this. Thank you, Lord. We have sent out your word. It will not go void without pro uh, achieving the purpose. Amen. Why it is spoken today. Mm -hmm. Let your people that are hurting, be, see, be, 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 be made before you, that all their, tear, tear, uh, their tears and cries will come to the throne of grace, and the angels of God will attend to their cry. Amen. You will save them. You will take away their shame. Amen. You will take their troubles, take away their troubles, and give joy, them joy and testimony at last in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, viewers. Amen. Until we meet again, remain blessed, Amen. and joyful. Amen. 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 Yeah. <laughs> you are blessed, man. Today the Lord has answered your prayer. I want to also encourage you, in the time of tribulation, Jesus is the anchor. The Lord has a way of directing your path, but you need to hear Him speak. When you pray, when you fast, you hear Him clearly. Don't give up hope, especially if you are in faith, if you are a Christian, you love God with all your heart, He will never disappoint you.